Good morning, everyone. Robin Hack here, and I'm excited to be here today on this amazing day in May. And I wanted to talk today about living for your health today or for your 80s, 90s, and beyond. And what you're doing today is what you're going to be living like when you're in your 80s and 90s and beyond. And I really got a reflection of this and wanted to share a little story because I've been dealing with my dad. And he's 89, going to be 90 in a couple months. And, you know, he has exercised all his life. He was in the Navy when he was young, um, on the swim team. He surfed as a kid, you know. He was always into being exercising, motorcycle riding, you know. All of this, and even till a year ago before COVID, um, he was going to a pool every day on his way to the office to swim. And he has maintained that exercise in his life for as long as I can remember. My mom, you know, when I was young, I remember she'd take me on the golf course and pull me around and walk 18 holes. And, and you know, she exercised every morning. And that made such an impact on me. And, you know, they never told me to exercise, but I it just grew up knowing it. And now I notice that with my daughter, and I'm sure it's going to be with her daughter. But what I wanted to talk about that for is because, are you exercising? Do you put it off? You know, are you eating healthy? Do you put it off? Because just walking every day. Exercise is so, so important. And why I'm saying that, because I see where my dad is at. And he was diagnosed recently with a um, valve, needing a valve replacement, aorta valve replacement. And in today's technology, they don't even do open heart, especially at his age. But they have this amazing technology where they go in through the groin. And he had that done yesterday. And I have been with him for the past couple months going to appointment after appointment and doing these tests and everything at the hospital to prepare for this event. And... I can tell you that see, the nurses calling me and telling me how amazing his test results were for different things, and I know it was from the way he took care of himself. And he wasn't a health fanatic whatsoever, but he exercised. And his lung um, capacity and that test that came back, they said he was like flying colors in that test. And like, oh my gosh, he, they are in, they could not believe it. And he's 89 years old. And so, and you know, the angiogram and everything was healthy in his body. He's on one medication and he probably doesn't even need that if you ask me. Um, but, you know, where do you want to be when you're that age? Do you, do you want to be healthy and strong and, you know, passing tests and not on medications? And, you know, he's taken supplements, you know, and ate pretty healthy all his life. And I can't say, no, he ate ice cream. He loves ice cream, you know, and all of that. But are you taking care of yourself for where you're going to be at? in your 80s and 90s because what you're doing today is affecting where you're gonna be then. And I would much more pay now. I've been a supplement person and I'm not talking vitamins. I'm not talking just taking vitamins. I'm talking about taking great supplements and reading labels and making sure I know what's in the product and you know, different things like that. And definitely reach out to me. I am happy to teach you about reading labels or look at a product with you or tell you what's in it and what's how important it is. And, you know, but supplements, supplements that are good whole ingredients. Your diet should be giving you vitamins if you are eating a healthy diet. And the supplements you're taking can supplement you and they can do things like work with your DNA and work with your cells and cell rejuvenation. And that's what I'm about because it's your starts with your cell, like I've talked about on different calls. But cell rejuvenation and also detoxing the body is so, so important on a daily basis through different types of supplements. Also, keeping the gut healthy. I have had my dad on these supplements for seven years and I swear that's helped him tremendously. And I am so grateful for the technology today to be able to do re valve replacements like they can, where it's not, it's not really invasive, it's non-invasive. Anyway, it is a miracle, you know, in today's technology, and it's a miracle the supplements you can take and the advancement of how they can work with your body and like keeping your gut healthy, not just by probiotics and yogurt, you know, or probiotics you get at the, you know, regular food store. 
I am talking about great probiotics that are sporebiotics that get to the intestine that do the job. I would rather spend $100 on my health today every month or, you know, I see people go to Starbucks and spend five bucks on a coffee. I spend way less than that on keeping my body healthy because I want to be that person that can say those nurses and doctors can be impressed with that I took care of myself because you are the person you are meant to be and you have to take control of your health and your body and where you want to be when you're 80 and 90 and so forth because I just see so many people let themselves go because they think 80, 90, and 100 is, you know, not a fun place to be. I want to have fun when I'm that age and be proud of myself that I took care of my body. And yes, I'm not in complete control. There's someone up there. But I can do what I have in my hands. I can control. And it's what I put in my mouth. It's what I do on a daily basis to exercise. Because I want you to feel good. I want you to live with that vibrant energy. And I want you to take care of yourself. Because no one else is going to. And, you know, modern medicine is great in so many ways, but not in so many ways. And they just want to put you on a pill to counteract that, which causes something else. And I'm not into that. But if you want to learn more about, like, reading labels, knowing a good supplement, knowing ingredients to take to regenerate the body and to help your gut and the brain access and just to live a vibrant life, message me. Because I have studied this and studied this. And no, I'm not an expert, but I have a lot of knowledge through years of taking supplements and reading labels. So anyway, I hope that helped because I just wanted to share that story. And I'm so thankful my dad is healthy. And I'm so thankful that they have this technology to replace the aorta valve these days. It's incredible. And I just wanted to share that because it is so stemming from even your kids on how they're taking care of their body, on where they're going to be. And, you know, I don't want my kids or my grandkids when they're 40 to be on medications or 30s on medications or even younger than that. How many kids are on medications these days? So anyway, take your health in your hands and take control of your life because it is amazing how you can help yourself and stay healthy and live a vibrant life. So thanks everybody for watching. Have a great day. Bye.